everybody it is thursday i had to think of what day it was man another one of those weeks so tomorrow morning i gotta get up early and go over to the college to talk to an advisor to make sure i have everything i'm supposed to have my transcripts by monday so probably on my way to work on monday i'll drop the transcripts off but I need to find out about this test so I can at least get one scheduled maybe for after the first of the year and my wife can help me study on the math part. Um, the writing and the reading part, I can probably do pretty easy. Um, it's, I'm a lot better at, uh, I can nearly tell I can tell you, I'll score pretty good. I have a good grade in English composition. It's the math that I'm worried about. And so also with the advisors, um, like my wife said last night, they're gonna probably tell me to take like one or two classes my first time since I do work full time. And then um, if I do okay, add classes. But she was thinking like I am, is that I should just take three and push myself uh, to get it done. And then um, if it seems like it's just way too much work, then um, I'll do that. And then for the summer, I'll just do two. And then the next fall, I'll just do two and do it that way until I can get it all done. But I wanna just get in there and get it done. So I'd like to do three at a time. So we'll just have to see how difficult these classes are. Some of them are gonna be way more difficult than others, so I'll have to kind of time it so that I get a lot of that done. Holy crap on a cracker. Sorry, it's, uh, let me get around this stupid truck. That's way too loud. Um, there was a flower shop where we knew the people that owned it that was back there has been there for god i don't know probably since the 60s and it's gone now i mean they've they've shut down years ago but it's crazy because the building's not there now it's demolished and there's a new building in its place i guess i haven't come down this far through austin i cut through at austin because there was a bad wreck on the road i was on so i figured i'd cut through and go up uh, I-35, which isn't always the best option, but it's what's going to have to work for today. Well, I thought this was a good idea. Now I got these construction vehicles in front of me that don't want to go on. Taking their time. So anyway, I'm going to try to take, um, it'll be 12, what they call 12 uh, credit hours per semester because I need to get it done as quick as I can. And I, they're like, well, you won't have any free time, you know, if you take three classes. And I'm like, okay, I don't really have any free time now other than in the car. I mean, I go home and get on the TV or the computer, it's going to be no different. So, you know, I spend an hour a night editing videos uh, in the middle of that. A lot of that's just me sitting surfing. So there's no reason why I couldn't be doing schoolwork during that time. <laughs> So at least that's the plan. We'll just have to see how it all plays out when I go talk to him tomorrow. Everybody, it's Friday. It's a rainy Friday. Probably a little dark in the car. Uh, sorry there was no Thursday. I started recording one, and I was feeling really bad when I got home last night. Uh, my wife was, has been feeling sick. And I just, I guess I felt a little stressed and overwhelmed because of the whole college thing. And so I just decided to eat and then go to bed instead of... Um, filming anymore on yesterday's vlog I just gave up and went to bed early um, I just left the college so I got up early to do that and then ended up laying in bed this morning because my foot was killing me again and um, so tomorrow morning I got to go take my uh, assessment test and basically it'll show them where I need to be at for my English classes and my math uh, the nice thing is I talked to him about the math thing and told him I don't know algebra um, I don't even know like middle school level algebra. I don't know it um, It's not that I can't do it like my wife said. It's not that you can't do it. You just were never taught Algebra so you don't know it So I take the test in the morning 
and I know I'm gonna bomb the math part and I'm fine with that because what they said I could do is take like a math tutoring thing um, in the spring session and then retake my assessment test before the summer session and if I score within their placement on the math then I can just go straight into college algebra and I don't have to worry about it so as long as I do okay on the English and writing um, then I think it's reading and writing essay no it's reading essay and something else and as long as I do good on that then I can take English comp one and I don't have to worry about going into a remedial class for that uh, and then I'll probably take I think it's US history that I have to take and then business applications, which is easy because it's basically all the crap I use now. It's basically like a Microsoft Office class. And then I think I'm still gonna take this Saturday lecture course on leadership and management because when I switch over to this other college for my bachelor's degree and do that online, it's kind of set up so that they'll give me some credit for those classes even though they're continuing continuing ed uh, credits they'll count that because the classes are very similar to what they teach for the bachelor's degree and so they'll give me credit they'll also give me credit like on um, what they call work experience so that can help me out too and what's nice is that I can once I'm so if I go through the summer session and I've got my nine credit hours and I'm good during the summer, once the summer's over with and I have my um, my nine more, so I'll be up to 18, but once I'm at 12, I can register with this other school that I'm going to do my bachelor's degree through, and the nice thing about that is, is that I'll get some extra credit out of being double registered, and it's a sharing thing that they do, so as I get credits, they send that information up to that school and it counts for me so when I go over to that school I don't have to worry about sending my transcripts over or going through the admission process or anything like that it's already all been done and the only thing I have to do is register for classes uh, you know pick my classes uh, get my ID made and so I'll have to like make a trip to this college and get all that done and then I'll be doing everything online from there but the nice thing is is that they'll know what my activity is because I can double enroll it's a setup that they have with the college that I'm going to be going to so um, this first one which is Austin Community College the other one that my plan is for the bachelors is Sam Houston State University it's here in Texas and then once that's done I'll go for an MBA and I don't know I think what my choice is probably going to end up being is University of Texas Dallas uh, for my MBA, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay, um, it is Saturday afternoon. It's technically afternoon right now. Um, this is, I guess, the third part. Holy crap on a cracker. There's a lot of cars here. Um, sorry, I'm going to Office Depot, I think it is, and there's just a shit ton of cars in this parking lot. There's the Target over here, too. But anyway... Um, I decided to add in Thursdays and Fridays footage since I didn't get to complete either one. Um, so that's why this is the third part of the vlog. Um, hopefully I won't have to do this too often. I just decided to do it because I had footage and I didn't want it to go to waste. And, um, there was you know stuff that I talked about on Thursday and Friday sorry there was a guy running in front of my car and um, I wanted to be able to end it so that's why I've like tacked it all on so anyway um, took my college assessment test I did fine in reading and writing uh, math I missed the basic math I got the advanced math which would be college algebra I missed by 18 points that's not bad for someone who doesn't know algebra at all like I have no idea even what algebra is other than it's a word um, so that's not bad <laughs> totally miss miss it by 18 points is pretty damn good 
So I got to go next week for um, my, uh, I guess my advising session and we're going to work on figuring out which classes I need to take and what stuff I have to buy and then figure out when I need to pay for it and all that. So I'm going to try to schedule that for Wednesday. Um, everybody's pretty booked and the place I just took the test at was booked until after the first of the year. So if all else fails, I'll go on January 2nd, but I'm going to try to get it done this week. So it gives me like a month before I have to start school and I can try to, or close to a month and I can try to figure everything out and get all the money together. So I'm going to run into, what is this? Office Depot and just look around real quick since I'm in Austin. Um, I actually need a, a good binder to put all my stuff in and we may have something at the office, but I'm going to look in here too. Um, at the office supply store just in case but that's what I got to do today after this is go home um, Try to get some more rid of some more of the furniture that's in the nonprofit office uh, So we can get that shut down We've only got three weeks left for that and I'm not putting any of that in storage. I'll give it away before it goes into storage, so uh, I got to figure out what I'm gonna do with everything and That's the hard part <laughs> so um I got to go home and work on that today and get all that stuff posted. And then I think tomorrow I'm getting rid of some stuff. I'm going to take it into Austin and then, um, I just got to work on getting rid of the rest of it. So I'm gonna have to just price it so that it, that it goes and we don't have to worry about it. Um, and then that way we can pay the rent or have the rent, rent completely paid. Um, have the utility paid, be able to get it cut off and then, um, not owe anybody anything for the nonprofit, and uh, then we can just start clean and do it. My wife can work from the house, and when people need stuff, she can just uh, do what she normally does and does her resource management and goes and finds it for them. So, anyway, I'm gonna run in here real quick, and then um, I'm gonna head to the house. All right, so I'm winding down my day. I'm like really tired. Um, oh, I can't even think. I'm so tired. Um, my wife and I went and ate earlier, well, long time ago now, and uh, then went and looked at, um, went to Walmart for a little bit and got a couple of things. What the hell is that sound? Oh, chickens. And then um, went to Staples and looked at a couple of things and then Went to Home Depot and got some stuff so I could replace the fan at, in the, um, what you call it, in the bathroom. Sorry, like I said, my brain's not all here right now. So I got that done and it's not wired correctly, so I got to finish it tomorrow. So sorry the vlogs have been kind of crazy the last couple of days. Uh, things should level out here soon. Uh, especially because I won't be starting school until I think the 10th of January so um, they'll definitely get better between that time so anyway um, thank you guys for watching if you're not a subscriber please subscribe uh, trust me they do get better <laughs> make sure you hit the like button uh, leave me a comment you can hit me on, up on uh, Twitter YouTube underscore Frank um, and I'm going to bed and I will see you all tomorrow.